What I'm going to share with you guys here today is a massive, massive risk to every single person who owns stocks in US corporations or anyone that owns stocks in European corporations, guys. I'm going to share with you a massive, massive threat that is going on right now um, that is literally a jeopardy and you something you got to think about like regardless of what company you own, you need to be thinking about this in the back of your mind, okay? And I'm going to break all this down. We're going to go into detail here. It's a very scary situation here, guys. So today I'm reading this article on the Seattle Times, which is, I think, part of the New York Times. And um, interesting article, okay? One of my friends is a, a big shareholder of Micron, and he's saying Micron's down huge today and whatnot. And so I start looking into things, and I find this article. It says, inside a heist of Micron chip designs as China bids for tech power, all right? If you didn't already know, MU stock is bound down very big today. It's a rough day in the markets overall, but this stock, we're talking, this one's down like 6 7%. Like, it's down massively, okay? So right off the bat, this article gets me, right? With a dragnet closing in, engineers at a Taiwanese chip maker holding US secrets did their best to conceal a darling case of corporate espionage. As police raided their offices, human resource workers gave the engineers a warning to scramble to get rid of the evidence. USB drives, laptops, and documents were handed to lower level employees who hid them in her locker. Then she walked one engineer's phone out the front door. Oh my goodness, guys, what those devices contained was more valuable than gold or jewels. Designs from Boise, Idaho based Micron technology for microchips that have helped power the global digital revolution. According to Taiwanese authorities, the designs were bound for China, where they would help build a new $5.7 billion microchip factory the size of several airplane hangars. So listen to this. So a plan known as Made in China 2025 calls for the country to become a global competitor in an array of industries, including semiconductors, robotics, and electric vehicles. China is spending heavily to both innovate and buy up technology from abroad. U.S. business groups worried about Made in China 2025 point to Micron. The account of its struggles was based on Taiwanese and U.S. legal documents. In 2015, representatives from some group in China, okay, a Chinese chip maker with major state backing, approached Micron with an acquisition offer, which the company rejected. It later turned down several partnership offers with Chinese companies out of concern for protecting its technology, said a person with knowledge of the situation who was asked to not be identified. That was when one Chinese company resorted to theft. Micron said in documents filed last December in U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California, Micron's accusations focus on the efforts of Fu Jung, whatever you pronounce that crap company's name, a state-backed chip maker to build a $5.7 billion factory in China's Fujian province. Two years ago, Zhu Hong tapped UMC, a Taiwanese company, to help develop its technology for the factory. Instead of going through the lengthy steps required to design the technology themselves, Micron said in a suit, UMC and Juhan decided to steal it. A UMC spokesperson denied the allegations and denied to comment further. First, UMC lured away engineers from Micron's Taiwan operations with promises of raises and bonuses, according to Taiwanese authorities. Then it asked them to take some of Micron's secrets with them, okay? So not only come over to our company and teach us everything you learn, but also take some secrets, get some of those USB hard drives, get some of that you know patented technology, bring it on over here. The engineers illegally took with them more than 900 files that contained key specifications and details about Micron's advanced memory chips, authorities said, okay? This is bad, guys. This is a bad situation. Alerted by Micron, Taiwanese police tapped the phone of one Micron engineer, Kenny Wang, who was being recruited by UMC. According to an indictment in Taiwan against Wan and others, UMC reached out to Wang in early 2016 using LINE, the smartphone messaging app while he was still working for Micron. UMC explained it was having problems developing its own memory chip technology. Wang then grabbed the information it needed from Micron servers and later it helped UMC's design, okay? Police said Wang received a promotion at UMC. 
oh my goodness, guys. And then obviously authorities show up at the, the offices there and they're trying to hide everything and whatnot. But at that point, they got all the information they needed anyways. So here's the, the conclusion here, okay? This is, this is where it gets really ugly. If you don't already think this is ugly enough, it's about to get even more ugly, okay? UMC filed its own criminal complaint against Wang last year, which Taiwanese prosecutors rejected. Wang and other engineers were charged and said they had taken trade secrets for personal research. Wang did not respond to emails or phone calls for comment. In January, Micron was hit with a patent infringement suit by Zhu Hong and UMC over several types of memory. As part of the suit, the companies requested that the count bar Micron from making and selling its products and pay them damages. They stole the information. Now they're going to do a countersuit against Micron and say Micron stole it from them. This is unbelievable, guys. The case is being heard in court in the Fujian province. Good luck winning that case. Case, Micron. Oh my gosh, the Fujong principal government is an investor in Juha. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous, guys. In a letter sent to President Donald Trump, um, you know, the senators expressed concern about the entire case and specifically the rapid pace in which the patent lawsuit has proceeded. The case could block Micron from selling some products in China. If the case against Micron moves forward and the Chinese government once again rules in favor of itself, which you know it will, it would cause substantial damage to Micron and the US tech industry as a whole. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, we gotta get into this. I'm gonna break it all down. If you're a little lost right now, I'm gonna break all this down for you, don't worry. And uh, I'm gonna share with you exactly why you need to worry, don't matter what company you pretty much own out there, okay? By the way, just real quick, this is kind of un unrelated, but related news, okay? HBO website is down in China after John Oliver uh, skewer Xi. So basically, John Oliver um, came out and kind of uh, attacked President Xi, who's a president of China. And uh, what did the president of China decide to do? He decided to just take HBO literally down from the entire country. Like no one can even watch HBO in China right now. Um, so that's the type of people you're dealing with over there. It is ruthless. It is absolutely ruthless, okay? So basically, Micron has all this tech, okay? All this technology, all these tech patents and whatnot that they spend billions and billions of dollars in research and development, all those type of things, okay? And what ends up happening is this company named UMC, which we'll just call out of uh, China, they say, we're going to recruit some of your employees out of Taiwan and whatnot. We're going to ask them, you know, to come over here. We're going to give them way better paying jobs. We're going to give them bonuses, all this stuff, okay? So they recruit some employees who were MU employees, okay? These old MU employees take the technology and they take it over to UMC, okay? So they give them the whole blueprint on how you do everything. This is how you do it. This is how we do it over at MU. And they have all this technology now, okay? And they go ahead and they build themselves a $5.7 billion plant that's being built right now to go ahead and, and compete directly against MU when they stole all the information over, okay? And here's the best part. You think you're going to try to win as MU, right? MU has about 50% of its business it sells into China, okay? About 50% of its business is to China. Well, guess what? Good luck trying to win a lawsuit or, or anything in China or try to block this, this UMC company from doing business in China because it's a Chinese company, okay? This is a Chinese company. So good luck trying to win that. MU's not gonna win this case, right? MU's not, then you, if you're hoping like China's gonna be fair, China's never fair, okay? China is never fair. And they're not just gonna say, oh yeah, even though we have investments in this company, and even though we want this company to succeed, no, we're gonna rule in favor of you, MU. It's never gonna happen, okay? It's never gonna happen. And then if MU gets blocked here, Imagine how much of a portion of MU's business is gonna go away virtually overnight, and then this company can start producing it in a year or two, okay? When they stole all that information straight from MU, it is so dirty, it is so disgusting, and it's a big thing that every single investor out there needs to worry about, okay? Well, I don't care what company you're investing in, if it's anything in tech related, like you need to be thinking like, like could my company be at jeopardy because you know China steals some stuff, okay? The first time I ever really dealt with this in a big way, Way where I really understood like what China was doing was in the GoPro investment. Okay, I learned a lot of stuff from that GoPro investment. And this was one of the things. Okay, what I learned from that GoPro investment is they were having all their products made in China. Okay, they were having all their products made in China, and almost all the parts 
were sourced from China. So it was super easy for Chinese companies to just do knockoffs, okay? They were able to just do knockoffs so easily of GoPros, and what this ended up doing, this ended up being one of the reasons why GoPro ended up going down and down and down because they had a lot of self-inflicted wounds, but another reason was because straight up, like China stole their, their products, they just copied them, okay? And then they just started selling them all over the world. You can go on Amazon and buy a GoPro competitor from some random Chinese company for 120, 130 bucks when GoPro was selling them for 300 or 400, okay? And so, and what does that happen in GoPro over time? Now it's got less than 50% of its workforce it once had at one time, okay? This is what happens, all right? In an MU situation, what do you think is going to happen to MU if they get blocked in China now, okay? What do you think is going to happen to MU? Their company is going to be, you know, disintegrate. They're going to have to cut off massive amounts of U.S. employees. Uh, obviously, MU shareholders would be hurt in a very substantial way from this. So this is a massive, massive thing, guys. Regardless of what company you're in, you've got to be worrying about China is stealing it. So one of their other initiatives is uh, electric vehicles, right? Well, Tesla just announced they're going to probably uh, open up a plant in China. Uh, I think it's uh, Shanghai at some point, right? I would be very scared if I was Tesla. I'd be very scared. I'd think like 10 times before you even think about opening a plant in China if I was Tesla, okay? And here's why. You think, you know, once you open a plant in China, you know how fast Tesla's trade secrets are gonna be out there? Everything that t Tesla does for manufacturing product, uh, you know, uh, process and whatnot, everything that how, you know, this is how we do it, all that information, as soon as they get that plant in China, it's gonna be gone overnight because they're gonna have informants in there and those, those Chinese folks are gonna steal that information so fast and it's just gonna help build electric companies in China, okay? So this is a massive risk. I have to say Tesla, like it sounds great and I thought it was a good idea at first and then when you realize how dirty the Chinese government is, they're just gonna steal all the information. They're just gonna steal it, man. As soon as Tesla gets set up over there, they're just gonna go in there and they're gonna see how everything's done. They're gonna bribe the employees, you know, some of them employees and whatnot and bring them over to some Chinese company and they're going to use the whole manufacturing process and everything that Tesla spent billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars learning, okay, and trial and error, these, this Chinese company is going to get it almost for free, okay, almost for free. Yeah, they'll pay the employees a little more and they'll bribe them however they need to, you know, certain employees that they need to get key information. But what's gonna end up happening is at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a bunch of stolen information that's gonna cost them a fraction, a fraction of the amount it would if they actually invested in themselves and actually did all this process themselves, guys. This is a massive risk, man. I don't care what company you pretty much own out there. Um, if it's any company that does business internationally, you just gotta be worried about this, guys. You just gotta be worried about it because what MU could bring in a suit in the United States is not the same as bringing a suit in China, man. And when all your products are over there manufacturing in China, it's a scary thing, okay? So if you own any specific stocks out there that do business in China or maybe their, their information or patents could be stolen and things like that, just make sure they're in situations that they have a very close relationship with their end customer, okay? Where they integrate with, so a good example is Cirrus Logic. You know, a lot of people like to, like to give Cirrus Logic crap because like 80% of their business comes from Apple, right? But they're like this with Apple, okay? They're one in the same. They, all their, they design all their parts. It's a very intensive process. It's not like something that could just be copied overnight by some Chinese company. A lot of the chip makers, their technology could just be copied overnight by a Chinese chip maker, and then Chinese chip maker could sell that for a fraction of the cost. You know, some of the U.S. companies, some of the European companies can, can you know, uh, I guess you could say, uh, charge and whatnot. It's something to really think about here, guys. It's a massive risk to U.S. stocks. It's a massive risk to anybody that owns stocks, whether in the United States or Europe. It's a massive risk. Um, to U.S. corporations out there and U.S. jobs when you think about it. Uh, GoPro got devastated by this, okay? It, it, MU, imagine how devastated that company could be. That company could go employing from, you know, from employing massive amounts of U.S. workers to a very, very lower amount almost overnight, okay? Um, so something to think about there, guys. You know, companies like Apple, people always worry about iPhone knockouts. Companies like Apple have a big competitive moat because they're always innovating and they have so much money to innovate and they're so good at doing it that the Chinese companies can't keep up, okay? And they're just so far ahead of everybody that, you know, the Chinese companies can't keep up and also the Chinese companies can't keep up as far as the marketing goes and just kind of like building out the ecosystem. That's why Apple has to like keep going all the time and they, they introduce a new phone with new features and the new software, the new iOS, everything just keeps, you know, advancing every single year. They have to do it. They have to do it because literally if they stood still for one second, 
Chinese companies would, would just copy it overnight and just, you know, you would have basically, you know, uh, iPhone knockoffs all over the place and iPhone software knockoffs. But because Apple keeps innovating at a very rapid rate, it gives them a competitive moat. But I'm telling you, a lot of these businesses that are not innovating in, in a rapid pace, you know, that just gives China a huge opportunity to go ahead and copy it all, guys. It's so dirty what's going on out there. Um, it needs to be thought about. You've got to think about this regardless of what stock you own out there, guys. Um, anyways, I would love to know your opinion on this in that comment section. Very scary situation. And uh, have a great day.